Hey, this your boy Frank Gore. You li I'm listening to the 49er Rush. Niners all day. That's Brain Sits Home, baby. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it, man. It's time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Here's your host, John Chapman. What is going on, San Francisco 49ers fan? I wanted to do something a little bit different because th we're in a weird situation. And, you know, we follow kind of the script of the season as it goes on, break down the offense, break down the defense, the grades, all those things. And all those things are very, very important. But we're on the cusp here. <laughs> and so what I wanted to do is jump into some Trey Lance film. Why not, right? Obviously, we saw Trey Lance earlier this year um, in week five against um, the Cardinals. But this is going to be a little bit different because we didn't see Trey Lance like we were supposed to see Trey Lance. And I really hope that changes. You know, where you go out and he runs the ball 16 times. Um, and only you know, he threw the ball. He was 15 for 29, which wasn't great. Had an interception, two sacks. But he ran the ball 16 times for 89 yards. That's not what we need to see. And coming off of, you know, Kyle Shanahan talking about how, oh, the four weeks practice, Trey Lance's look great, all these different things. And, you know, maybe he's just hyping them up. I don't care. But what I wanted to do is jump in back to his college tape. And again, this this was something we put out on Patreon right after we drafted Trey Lance. And so I want to go back to the source. That's the whole idea here. And so without further ado, this is a full breakdown game, college game, North Dakota State, on what it is that we could get from Trey Lance, who he is, and what he brings to the table. Obviously, we know we've uh, kind of dove into so much of what he is, but... Man, I, I just think it's time to go back to see what his raw skills are. You know, we just finished the offensive breakdown of the Titans game, which probably going to be Jimmy Garoppolo's last active snaps as a 49er unless injury happens or something along those lines. And so, again, go and see how this offense can be different because it can be. And so I, I don't want to spend time on the Texans so much. Um, they're a weird team, up and down, definitely coming off their best victory of the season over the Chargers, which was a huge win. Davis Mills playing better than any other rookie quarterback out there. And so now you're going to get Davis Mills versus Trey Lance. And I, I don't know. I, th I just think it's important to understand what Trey can bring and what to look for and what his skill set are because we didn't get to see his skill set. I'm going to be really honest with you against Arizona. Yeah, we saw the running portion of it. Yeah, 89 yards rushing for a quarterback's great. Trey Lance should not have more than five or six rushing attempts, and only one or two of those should be called runs. Um, the other three to four should all be scramble plays or whatever else, improvising, not called quarterback power runs. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. But before we do that and before we jump over there, real quick word from my bookie. Looking for an easy New Year's resolution? We'll make your goal to double your money and get a head start with my bookies deposit match bonus. All you have to do is use promo code 49ers, 49ERS, or click on that little uh, QR code and you can jump in there. Again, your initial deposits doubled up to $1,000. Now, with the extra dough in your account, you're ready to bet on the biggest games of the week. And my bookie is hosting exclusive odds boost on this year's Cotton Bowl between Alabama Crimson Tide and the Cincinnati Bearcats. So both offenses have lit it up. Um, and my bookie is making the over an even more attractive bet by lowering the total on points scored. I, I'm betting on this one. Um, so both teams are in the top 10 points scored per week in the nation. So get to mybookie.ag today and take advantage of these boosted odds this bowl season. So don't drop the ball. Double your first deposit up to $1,000 using our promo code 49ERS. Head to my bookie, place your bets, and ring in the new year with a win. Remember, bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. 
All right, guys. Now, again, if you like this breakdown and you want to see more of this, we have over five-plus hours just on Trey Lance college tape over on Patreon. And as soon as you sign up, you get all of it. Just in the top of the search field, you type in Trey Lance, pulls up all of his breakdowns. They're all there. Did every game possible that he's ever played in. Uh, so, again, if you want that, patreon.com, uh, 49ers Rush Podcast. Check that out. Support there. Uh, appreciate you guys and hope you enjoy this breakdown. <laughs> All right, guys, back with another Trey Lance breakdown. We're just going to be diving into these quarterbacks. I want, I want to see every single thing we have from him and Justin Fields and even uh, McCorkle Jones. So um, this is against Montana State. This was in the college football playoffs. They do a playoff system, actually, in the football uh, FCS. So Montana State, I think they were 11-2 and two or 11-3 and three that year. Very, very good football team. Won several championships. But we're going to be focusing on Trey Lance. Um, <laughs> yeah simple hitch pass not a big deal coming out but watch this ball there is that thing disappears out of his hand you know he doesn't have the quickest release but it is straight power um you know you look at trey lance his average depth of target is 11 and a half yards doesn't do a lot of these um but whenever it shows up that ball comes out quick uh, that is a quick rifle arm. Let's pay attention to his motion here. Sometimes he does dip the ball below his elbow during his transition. So let's see if we can catch this. I mean, that looks picture perfect right there. Not known for having a quick release, as I've said earlier. But, man, the power. I know it's just a quick hitch pass. But you see the spiral. <laughs> that ball coming out, man. He, he's got a cannon. Um... That thing gets there. Yeah, one of those you can hear. Look at the revolutions on that ball coming out of his hands. As a tight, tight spiral that doesn't get very high at all. There's no arc. It is just a. It's a laser. Boom. <laughs> it got there in a, in a quick, quick second. Um, now, also do want to pay attention to the left tackle, Dylan Redunds. Uh, possible late first, early second. 49ers target for sure. Been working with Joe Staley at left tackle. We'll be talking about him some as well. Oh, here we go. Dang, look at that ball. Oh, incomplete. Just off the hands. I mean, the sad thing is this. There is no separation here for the wide receiver. My face is in the way here. Uh, we'll get a better look at it here. Trey Lance going deep. Now, pay attention. Usually, whenever his deep ball is good, watch his head. He's not going to look to the left. Watch him look off the safety. And then he knows where he's going. Looks to his right. Comes back, sets up. Man, that is a pretty ball. Oh, so close. You wish the wide receiver had a little bit more speed, put it under, but th that's a tough play just because the corner is an excellent phase. I mean, golly, corner's right on top of him. No separation. But that doesn't mean you don't throw the deep ball. Ah, the footwork, all those things. Let's see whenever he's going into his deep pass. Uh, let's watch his footwork and his arm mechanics here and see what that looks like. Great footwork. Okay, here, not too bad. Um, usually what you're looking for, very Drew Brees-esque. He tilts his shoulder up here just a little bit to change his launching point, put a little more air underneath the ball. The ball doesn't go below his elbow. That's great. One more time. Very nice, clean motion. Steps into it well, even with somebody in front of him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't take a big hit by any stretch. Ooh. I mean, that ball goes. He, he's got an arm. His longest completion air yards was 62 yards <laughs> this year. So uh, I do believe that he has the strongest arm in the draft. I think him and Justin Fields are close, both of them elite. I, I love both those guys. But Trey Lance, I, I think he gets the edge just a little bit on arm power, but both A-plus arm strength. All right, just a play action, uh, a simple give there, not play action. Sorry, third and ten. All right, third and 10. We got a three by one set, two high safety. We got to press down here. Let's see what he's looking at. Oh, bringing the blitz. Stays in the pocket and overthrew him. Man, he had him. He had him. No problem with the blitz. Look at the, the calm, cool, collected. But yeah, he missed right over the middle. He missed it. Ah, oh, that's, that's a bad play. You got a delayed blitz coming, 
And the O-line does relatively well. I mean, you just got to throw it to you. Both backers are coming. You just got to put a little air underneath this, and he just put too much on it. I mean, we talked about the arm strength earlier. This one's a miss. Oh, just there's nobody there. Just let him go get it. Too much on it. Oh, take some off there. Take some off there. All right, next drive. Let's see how he responds. Ooh, nice play action. I, I think that he has the best play action in this draft. Very used to turning his back to the defense. No issues. Comes and sets up his feet. Very nice. Hits that hitch back. Just coming back. And that ball gets there. You can tell he's not putting the mustard on it. He learned his lesson here. Nice play action. Set your feet. Boom. Come out. Timing route. Nice. Easy eight-yard gain. I, I, his play action is good, though. And a big reason why his play action is so good is foot. I mean, look how he sells look, with his eyes, uh, his footwork, everything. Oop. Went back a little too far. No, I didn't. Jumped up. My bad. I mean, it, it's just he sells it every single time. I mean, look at that. Just looks it in, sneaks the ball back. I mean, he got he got everybody. Look at this defensive end. Watch this defensive end here. Oh, that's a give. <laughs> he was shocked. That's nice play action. Nice play action. All right, second and two. Likely running down here. And they're just keeping two deep safeties uh, no matter what. Even though this is a running team, they're just keeping them back there. Simple out route. Ball comes out of his hand pretty damn good. Uh, we got an illegal shift, or what What do we got? I don't care. Let's see the play. Yeah, just simple, easy read. I wonder what he's looking at there. Let's go back, see what he's reading. I think it's just this linebacker. So if the, the corner bells, if the corner's a flat player, you can't throw this route. If the corner bells with number one, then you just throw the out route because this guy can't undercut that. Corner bells, throws it underneath. Very simple, one read. Just get it out. Very, very nice. Ooh, got him. Jump forward here. Let's get to a play. Oh, look at this, the inverted wishbone. I love it. What's up, Greg Roman? Just to give. Don't see that all the time. All right, here we go. Like second and eight, perhaps. Yeah, they're bringing them up. Floats in the pocket. Nice ball. Coming across. Look at him get through his progressions. You're going to see him look to his left and come back to his right. And sets it up. Looks to his left. Nope, nope. Comes back. Just replaces it over the middle. I don't know why that guy fell. Catch it on the run, baby. But again, his eyes. Look at his helmet. Looking to his left. Reading the wide receivers out to the left. Then comes back across the field. Why'd he fall? <laughs> Decent ball. You'd like it a little bit out front, but you're not complaining about this. Man, that ball comes out. Look at the speed of the freaking rotations, man. That ball is humming. You love the spiral because that's going to affect in weather. So whenever you have a quarterback that can spin it, literally put that many rev revolutions on the ball coming out, that means rain, wind, snow, all those things will be less of a factor on the ball because it just comes out with such velocity. Ooh. Boy, throws such a pretty ball. All right, first and 10 here. I formation, two deep safety versus an I formation. Oh, come on. There it is. You knew it was coming. Play action, nice. Steps up in the pocket. Ooh. Oh, man, he was wide open. Look at the play action and pocket press. Look at him climb the pocket here. Climb, climb. A lesser quarterback would get hit here. 
because you've got this outside blitz coming. He's at quarterback depth. Watch how he climbs the pocket. We'll see it from the other angle. He's going to climb the pocket, double kind of shuffle forward, and keeps his eyes downfield. When a quarterback gets pressure and has to navigate in the pocket and looks down, that is a major red flag. Not here. I stay forward. People that say Trey Lance is a run force quarterback have not watched his game film at all. Yes, they have designed runs. But this this ain't it. I mean, look at his eyes the whole time. Steps back, creates. Man, that is... Tell me that doesn't look like Drew Brees type footwork inside. I'm not saying he's anything like a Drew Brees, Drew, Drew Brees player. Completely different skill set. But what Drew was amazing at is just pocket navigation and climbing. Stepping away from that pressure. Gosh. Look at the hips, the shoulders. So ready to throw at any time. Always ready. This looks like a combine drill during the shuffle where they're hitting them with the bags and all those things. Oh. People that say that Trey Lance is raw, I just don't understand it. I, I, don't, I don't know where they're reading this from. Find another quarterback that's going to navigate like that, keeping both hands on the ball. You don't see it in this draft class. Oh, man, that's good. It's funny, the more Trey Lance I watch, I keep waiting for him to show me something that the media pundits put out there, and you just can't find it. Um, trying to get him to talk me out of, you know, being so high on him. But every game I watch, I'm more enthralled. Um, he impresses me more. How do you watch that play and think he's raw? Oop, there it is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, that's just the jet sweep keep. 49ers run the same damn play. Double motion tight end. What you're doing is you're changing the linebacker's alignment and helping yourself in the running game. First you motion one, then you motion two. 49ers do this exact same thing from the exact same everything. You leave one guy unblocked. And again, the jet sweep, freaking wet dream. You don't need to do this a lot in the NFL if you draft Trey Lance, number three. But you do it once every other game. Keep that linebacker honest. Ooh, just see how patient he is, but explosive at the same time. He's going to set up his blocks. He's not just a run and get whatever. He is smart with the ball. Let's see if it's a read or an automatic give. No, he read it. Look, look at his eyes. Watch him look at this backer. Look at that. You see him tilt. Backer's going with flow. That means you keep it. Um, you know, this can be a predetermined read for sure. But watch his head at this backer. Snap. Look at the backer. Okay, I'm keeping. So that's a hard read because you're giving to your left, but you're reading to your right. Right there, boom. You see him look to the right. He's belling. Oh, yep, I'm keeping it. You replace right where he is. Golly. And then, of course, the mobility. Kid's got it. You know, he did not run a 40-yard dash, but uh, they have a GPS tracker in their things. He had a 21.54 miles per hour run last year. Would have been the number one fastest time for a quarterback in the NFL last year. The dude has speed. Is he a 4-4 guy? I don't know about that. But the top end speed's there. You know, whether his acceleration is there like Justin Fields, I don't think it is. Um, but he's definitely mobile check. There's no doubt about this. I don't want him running this play a lot. Once every other game. That piss teams off right there, man. Whew. God, how do you not love this kid? Look at him. Changing the play at the line. He calls all his own protections and audibles. Check to a run, it didn't work. <laughs> but you got to look. I mean, he's in charge. How do you say raw? How do you say raw to this? I, I just don't understand. Who else calls their own plays? Nobody. Not in this draft. All right, second and 11. This little Kyle Juszczyk guy over here. Simple give. Third and seven, money down. Here we go. All right. Too high safety look. Here comes the delayed blitz. Oh, gave it on third and 10. That didn't hit. They tried going into the blitz. Yeah, you got a blitz coming off this side here. Almost. Oh, get that block. Get that block center.
All right, backed up here, I formation. Still got a too high safety look. Oh, we got a penalty there. I'll start. Finally got the play they wanted. Ooh, nobody took off with it. Who's still going? Go, big dog. There you go. I mean, tell me that this offense doesn't remind you of the 49ers with all the shifting. Look at them changing the play. Little stretch play. Like the old Colts um, offense right there. That Peyton Manning elongated stretch to James. Ugh, seen it, seen it a thousand times. Nice give. First pressure. Look how he steps out of everything. Oh, put it on the spot, man. Little overthrown. Watch him navigate pressure. Who says he's a run first quarterback? Watch him play action. Got two guys screaming down his face. Steps up, look at him looking downfield, gets hit, gives this guy a shot to go get it. I mean, how do you say that this guy's a run first raw quarterback? That's him watching highlights, not film. Nice play action. All right. Look at his eyes the whole time looking downfield. Two guys unblocked coming right at him. Look at him. Steps up. Oh. Why did he quit running? Put it on a spot that was safe. Little overthrown. Could he have caught it? Maybe. But look at him moving to his left, throwing to his right. You know, everybody gushes about all those plays on the pro days. Whenever you see it on film like this, and this is huge too. How many times do you see this guy get hit and clobbered? Probably one of the main differences in why I prefer Trey Lance to Justin Fields. Not only does he navigate the pocket well, he does not take big hits. He could take a big hit here and roll into these blitzes that are coming. But watch how he, he barely gets hit versus two unblocked guys. He just gets touched. Yeah, a little overthrown. You can fix that. He's got to keep running, though. I don't. He's a bigger guy. He's not very mobile. Imagine that's Kittle, right? That's a tight end, just an opposite kind of leak route. That's Kittle. He's getting that damn ball. Might not have been able to get both feet in, though. All right, third and five. I do like that they're moving the pocket with him, though. Even in the midst of a blitz, still getting the ball off well. Ah, uh, and I hate this running crap on third down. I wish the 49ers would do it more, but I'm evaluating Trey Lance here. They go for it on fourth. Oh, they do. They do. They run a screen. Read it the whole time. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Oh. Why'd they get a first down? Here see what happens here. Missing something. Incomplete pass. Man, that's huge. I don't know why they got the first there. I'm missing something. Give up the middle. Too high safety look versus a big front. This should be a run. Ooh, fumbled the snap a little bit, but oh yeah, perfect call. Watch uh, our boy Dylan Redunds right here, right at the point of attack. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's so smooth. Woo! Look at this left tackle right here. Redunds, baby. Watch him just get out here in space. Clobber the linebacker. The fold block here. He crashes down on the end, comes out, and you're done. Pancake. <laughs> Pancake. First and nine. And just chills in the pocket. Oh, 
Finally got him. Man, what was he, where was he looking? What did he miss? All right. Corner route, somewhat open. Could have checked down. Okay, still, man, that's pretty damn good coverage across. Again, corner route, maybe. Does he lose yards? No, he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Watch his eyes, see where he's looking. Okay, looking far left. He's looking here, nothing's there. Still staying with it, nothing there. Checks, ah, oh, climbs the pocket. Now, this is huge. Both hands on the ball. This is Nick Mullins, that's a fumble. This guy is swiping at the ball, but this is key in why you keep both hands on the ball and why he's so damn strong. That's huge. This should have been a sack strip fumble. How many times do 49er fans see that? Keeps both hands on the ball, just steps through, gets back to the line of scrimmage. You, usually you watch these plays and you're like, okay, this is negative. Got to get rid of the ball there. That should have been a fumble. That should have been a fumble. This is why you keep both hands on the ball and you don't pat the ball before you throw it. Gosh, there's a reason why this kid, he doesn't turn the ball over. No interceptions. I mean, the guy just protects the ball. There's no negativity, and his ceiling is off the charts. Jet sweep give. Ooh, got to the outside. That's coming back. Give right up the middle, touchdown. Look at the celebration. You got to love that, man. You think he's, he wants that touchdown pass? No, he wants to win. This kid is so mature. Graduated high school early, graduated college early. Whatever. <laughs> he's smart as hell, man. Another just outside give. Let's jump forward. Simple out route. Again, let's see if he's reading that corner. We'll have to see where his head is on the other thing. Look in here. If the corner bells, that's where you go. That guy cannot make that play one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, a little shifty. Nice little move there. Undercut him quick. Okay, the opposite. It's not a deep out. It's a quick out. But this is the arm strength test. Opposite hash, out route. Sets up. Notice again, he knows where he's going with the ball. Watch him get the snap. Where does he look? Straight up field, a little bit to his right. Look at that. Looks off. Now it's time to get across. Uh, Yeah, ball comes out pretty quick. It's a short out. You, you don't want to use this too much, but yeah, ball comes out quick, quick, quick. Boom. A little bit more of a wind-up motion, that throw. But the, the velocity on the ball is there. I think it's always going to be there with him. I think that's going to be a question. Nice eye formation. Look at that. Ooh, screenplay. We don't see that much with him. One of the fewest screen yards of anybody. He had 268 screen yards. Um, you know, <laughs> you look at some of the other players and kind of what they do. Trevor Lawrence, almost 700 screen yards. So <laughs> if you're looking for complexity of offense, Trey Lance, he's got it. He's not getting the little dink and dunk yards like a lot of these other guys are. Mac Jones, oh my gosh. Mac Jones, nothing but screen yards. And he's got deep yards, but 600 screen yards. So Justin Fields, Trey Lance, they don't get the little gimme passes. They, they're going, their average depth of target is just nuts compared to the other guys. All right, just a run there. Jump forward a little bit. Here we go. Man, look at the footwork. Oh, it's so pretty against the blitz. It's not, he doesn't panic. You got a blitzer coming. That's okay. And look at the timing of this throw. Set it up, unleash it. Boom, steps into it. Oh, that's so good. Dylan Redunce does a heck of a job picking up this blitz as well. Watch him. They're going to shift. He's going to go inside. You got the blitzer coming offside. Let's watch Dylan Redunds right here. Sets up and just neutralizes. So simple. God, look at the ball come out of his hands. Are you kidding me? That's so freaking pretty. You just see the ball spinning, man. Have you ever seen a bad ball come out of this kid's hands? You don't. There is no ducks. 
It's freaking that arm motion. Oh my gosh. Woo. That's damn pretty. Woo. Just a simple out. But man, it's so consistently tight. Every damn play. Show me a bad play. Nice play action. Oh, getting them on the move. This is what this looks good right here, man. Move that pocket. Bootleg. Ooh. And then also pay attention to this. Did he drop that ball? He dropped the damn ball. Are you kidding me? Right through his hands. Right through his hands. But again, another thing I like about Trey Lance. Watch as he delivers the ball. He's so damn smart. Look at him. Fades away. I'm not taking any unnecessary hits. The kid does not get hit. He doesn't. Ah, just little bitty extra nuance, right? Protect your body. A again, one of the things that separates him from Fields, I love them both. I hope one of them goes number three. But the little things, he does not take hits. How do you not catch that ball? Is it a little high? Maybe. But golly, the finesse, the hips. Yeah, catch that. That's all right. He's a fullback. He'll forget it. Outside toss. 49ers run a similar concept there. Look at him changing the play there. He saw the linebacker creeping. Let's see if he attacks this area of the field here. Nope. Ooh. Golly, man. Gave him a shot. People say, oh, he looks to run early. Are you kidding me? You have not watched his tape. Look at this. He's going through everything. Look at down here. Okay, that's covered up. He's got somebody over top and a trailer. He goes back to the left side of the field. Now he's on the left side of the field. Maybe this one's open. He is driving. That's covered. That's covered up. There's nothing there. All right, what's he do? Let's extend, okay? Let's get out of the pocket. Now, still looking upfield. This is the play it should be going right there. Finally gets it there just a little late. Man. How many reads is this guy going to? He goes le right field, left field, right field. After changing the play, this guy's in complete command. Look at that. Stares off down the middle first. Now he gets to his right. Nope. Now he goes back to his left. Nope. Okay, escape. Let's create. You can see where he's thinking here. And he even put it on his back shoulder. This guy's driving. He's driving through him. Look at this. Oh, right here. Sorry. He's driving through him. Puts on his back shoulder in a place away from the defender. It, it, the play isn't made. I get that. I understand that. That's a safe play. Throw it across your body. Oh, and look how flawless it just like. He's just so chill in this situation. It, it, it's not a completion. I get it. But man, you just see some things that are there. Oh, <laughs> you see the little head nod at the end of it. Dang it. Ah, <laughs> he's mad. Ah. But works so good. Oh, nice ball. Nice catch, too. You got to drive this over this linebacker. Okay, so as this is going, linebacker drops. He's in your throwing window. You're replacing. The, he's going deep here. You got to get that ball there quick. Nice catch. And tell you, we talk about just the consistency of the arm motion and the ball leaving his hands. Ooh, little high, little high. Steps into it pretty good though. Looks like he got popped a little bit as as he was throwing it. Yep, yeah, he got hit as he was throwing it. That's a good ball. Nice catch though. Get it down a little bit more. 15 seconds left in the half. Let's see what they do here. 
close to midfield. Give him a chance. Put some air on that ball. Ooh, can't find it. Ooh, checks it down. Get out of bounds. Didn't get out of bounds. All right, he's looking everywhere. Oh, look at him. Calling the hot route read. You saw him? Looks to his left. Nope. Dances around. Looking to his right. Escapes. Get out of bounds. Four. They have a timeout. Okay. Six seconds left. What are you going to do here? Let's see a bomb, baby. Let's see that arm. Oh, we got a timeout or something's going on there. Jump forward. Second and three. Oh, they got him. Here we go. <laughs> I will not go down. I will not go down. You hate to see it with three seconds left. I mean, he's trying, but tough as hell, isn't he? Ah, those legs, man. Yeah, I mean, you don't want him going out of bounds. Took a hit there at the end of it. There's three seconds left in the half. I get it. I do like him running through. That's a big old boy. <laughs> he just ran through. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's see next half. First play, third quarter for the offense. Nice play action. Gosh. Just chill. Oh, man. Oh, look at this play. Play action rollout. Oh, nice. He's got the easy one. Look at this guy. He does a one easy. I'm going past that on a dime. Golly. Look how easy and fluid. Look at that ball coming out of his hand. This is what you see at the Pro Day. Does the Pro Day film, do you see it on film? The Pro Day, it, it matches, man. How do you not watch this and just be like pumped? Whew. Man, that ball just flies out of his hands. That is just excellent. Gosh, that ball gets there in a hurry. Man, that's a strike. Love all the movement, man. And nothing's too big for him. Nice play action. Ooh, there it is. Oh, it was there. He put it to him. Nice read. Just an arrow route. 49ers do this exact same damn play. This is what we, uh, Jeff Wilson route, we should call it almost. He's going to set up this backer, press outside, come underneath. Look at where he releases the ball. I mean, he's throwing it to where he's going. Ah, puts it on him. That would have been to the house. There's so many 49ers concepts in this offense. Man, he's throwing it here. Just too much juice, man. It's one of the things, probably one of my biggest concerns, too much juice over the middle. Got to develop a little bit more touch. He has touch on his deep throws. A little bit more touch there. A little bit more touch. It's too much. Too much juice. No juicy juicy. Oh, come on. Third and long. Ah, oh. It's close. I don't think he got it there. Simple out route. Again, they've been doing this nonstop to these guys. Run the first corner off and just replace them with the ball. He reads it right. Opposite hash out route. Seen this several different times. I don't think he gets it, though. Got to get those yards, man. He broke that route off a little early. Fought for it at the end. I don't know if he got it. I don't think he did. It's going to be close. Again, you're just seeing more and more validation of a couple things. The feet, the eyes, and the correct read. And dang, does that ball fly out of his hands. Woo! He's on a rope. I don't know if he got it. Let's see here. They were at about the 32. Nope, they didn't get it. Next drive.
changing the play at the line of scrimmage. We like to see that on his own. Changes it to a run play. Ooh, called it right. Get sweep. A simple give. We saw him keep for a touchdown earlier. Lots of moving parts. Get everybody set. There it is. Look at that play action, man. I mean, look at the fake. He's going to give it here. Look at him. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> look at this backside linebacker. Number two, watch this. I mean, that's his responsibility, but look at him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's not a give. <laughs> Third and long. Okay, come on. This is big here because if you don't get this, you're punting. So you got to be aggressive here no matter what. Oh, they're coming. Perfect play call. And he gone. I don't think they're going to catch Oh, they did catch him. Perfect play call. They're going to be overly aggressive. Ooh, tripping against the offense. That's no good. You got to bring it back. Nothing really to see there. Just to check down. Now it's third and 20. Good gosh. Not a lot you can do here. Empty set, quarterback draw, or lob it up. Yep, just let him out. Athlete everybody, and they got him. They had a spy set up. Gonna watch one of these guys. I think 43. One of these D linemen just gonna spy and sit. Smart D call here. There it is. You'll see him just sitting there. I'd swiping a lot of people, but not near enough. Near enough. They got, man, another penalty. All right, third and five, third and six. The officials need to get the hell out of the game. Oh, he takes off. Oh, he's just going to will himself there. Man, I didn't think he was going to get it. Could have checked down across the middle. Uh, the drag across, I think, the tight end here. No, it's the wide receiver underneath. He just says, screw it. I'm just going <laughs> to will myself. Talk about the competitive nature. Good gosh. I don't know how he got this. <clears throat> Looks like Cam Newton on this play. Goes through his reads. Man, just the legs. Woo! I formation, two deep safeties. Yeah, you see him give the call. Watch him swipe behind his back. Just gives a quick hot route read right here. Watch his left hand. Watch. Swipe behind his back right here. See that? Just a simple tell. Basically like it's coming hot. It's coming hot. You'll see him. Whoop. Coming hot. Snap for a sound. Get it out. Quick. Simple screen. The reason why this play works is because, man, he just calls it at the line. You're seeing what they're lined up in. Watch them. Watch them swipe. Whoop. Coming to you. You don't have much time and even less time for the coaches because we've seen this on film a few times. The coaches on the sideline see that. Screen, screen, screen. Doesn't matter. You got half a count. That ball's coming out. First down. Person 10. Nice play action. Get him outside. Oh, just easy, man. Get it to that fullback. Fullback love everywhere. You see, I'm just going to drift out and get to the flats. Drift out, get to the flats. Oof. Juice. Tell me Kyle Juszczyk doesn't want Trey Lance. Tell me Kyle Juszczyk doesn't want Trey Lance. Come on, man. That's a nice touch right there. You know, he's been rifling them. Ball comes out smooth. Again, the revolutions just stand out every damn throw. Right on the money. Easy catch and lets him keep running. Nice blocking by that little wide receiver. Ooh, ooh, still fighting. We're at 40 minutes. Good Lord, I can't stop watching this. It's too damn good. Jump forward. 
All right, let's see what happens here. Play act, man, they're just getting them out of the pocket. There ain't nobody open. Good gosh. Throws it out of the back of the end zone. There it is. He's open. He's got a little window here. Just He just chunked it out the end zone. Yeah, there's zero chance there. Live to play another down. It was second. You'd like, you don't want him forcing it in there. If it was third, maybe. Play action. Oh, my gosh. Oh, put it on him. It's close, man. Dang, that is a tough ball into that coverage. Giving this guy a chance, but it's it's not going to come down. Not going to come down. Just kind of a corner route almost. There it is. Ah. Out of the back of the end zone. Safe play, but... Yeah, just too much on it. Just too much on it. But it's safe. If you're wrong, you're never long. Uh, you know, you're, you are up. <laughs> it's 15 to 0. You know, in the third, you, you don't want no turnover there. I think they missed the field goal, though. Simple check down. Nothing special. But he gets through his reads pretty good and diagnoses it well. Give there. Jump forward. Ooh, nice play action. Oh, dang. Did he catch that deep out? He got it. He got it. Man, that ball just rockets out of his arm. Nice play fake. Golly. <laughs> Look at him lead it in. Watch Trey Lance after the throw. It's like when somebody's bowling or playing golf, right? Watch him lean it in. Just like... Oh, lead it in. He was in. He was in. He was in. But watch the ball come out of his hands. Golly. Freaking cannon. Too much of an arm there. Got to get that thing down. Whew. That's hot. Ball coming out hot, baby. Fourth down. What? It's not fourth down. Shouldn't be. Quarterback draw. Oh, man, he had nowhere to go. They read that perfectly. They're going to leave him unblocked. He just sits on it. Yeah, <laughs> you got nowhere to go. That's the biggest hit he's taken. Left him unprotected out there. Second and ten. Oh, that didn't look right. There's, there's a lot of stuff wrong on this play. Oh, the tight end? Somebody didn't get the call. Somebody was supposed to... <laughs> is it, let's see if he swipes again for the... Yep, see that? We, we saw it earlier. So he gave a hot route read, but the line did not get that. Oh, the fullback didn't get it. I don't know what the hell the fullback's doing. Get the hell out of his way. Fifty little guy. Two teams are fighting, man. This is a close game. Blitz coming. Delayed blitz. Get rid of the ball. Ooh, throws it away. That's okay. I don't mind that. I mean, you got you got guys coming. No negative plays. Takes a hit in the backfield, nothing too bad. Get that damn ball out. He understands it. Clock's coming out. Basically just throwing the ball away. That's okay.
Uh, just check down. Why do you check it down? That guy's running scot free here. Oh, yeah, the ball was already out of his hands, but that's going to open up. That guy came up because the ball was out of his hands. If he would have waited. Oof. All right, he gave a call here. Let's see what it is. Oop, nope. Dummy call. There's another keep. Man, he gets there in a hurry, doesn't he? Jet sweep keep. Mm, man, he gets north-south. In a hurry. Look at him. He's reading that freaking linebacker again. Look at right here. Look at him. That is a tough read. Here, you're seeing if the linebackers bell, and if this guy crashes, if he sits, that's what he's looking at. If he sits with just enough, I'm going right where he is. Woo! Nice nine yards. Took a hit there. Got the first down. We're in the fourth quarter now. That's too good a game, man. See something. Ooh. That was a good play by that corner there. Hitch route, nothing big. Simple screen or running back screen. Playing it safe, man. They were playing it super safe. They're just trying to maintain this lead. I want them to attack. Okay, he saw it. Changes the play. You got an overload blitz coming off the left side. They stay with it. Awesome. Check down, no negative play. Didn't have to do that, man. It was open underneath. And the fullback would it just, man, take this. He's throwing here. He thought that the guy was going to beat him deep. He wasn't even close. He even shut down his own route. Hmm. Yeah, he had the fullback, or the tight end, and he wanted to unleash it. One there. Third and seven. This is a big play here. Two-score game in the fourth. Get this. You take another three minutes off the clock. Big play. They're blitzing on third downs, man. I think he's going to bail. Bye. Man, I lost the ball there for a second. Completes it right over the middle of this drag. Gosh, this is a big play. Third and seven, game on the line, stays in the pocket, and just drills it. And these are the things that are created by a mobile quarterback. Both of these guys are basically playing spy. They're going to bring up their stuff close to the line of scrimmage and basically say, look, we are stopping him from running. Well, what does that do? That's going to open up some passing lanes right over the middle. If these linebackers were playing at the depth that they should, this play should not be as easy. Gosh, money right over the middle. Absolutely incredible. Good job. And just waits through it. Let's see him get through his reads. Looking downfield to his right. Checks across. Third down. Sees it. Hits it. Mobility increases windows. Look at these linebackers just sitting there. Nice ball. Just a drag route. I get it. But the the game has brought that play to mean a lot. And now you just chill. I, uh, I expect a couple run plays. Just milk it right here. Yeah, there's one. Milk it, man. Yeah, two-score lead. 
I think this is the last offensive play right here. Yep, that's it. Kick a field goal. You're done. Defense stays out. Trey Lance, man. I really hope the 49ers go him number three. He's that damn good. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks.